Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, Section 2.4, Areas of Triangles Activity. Pause while you write Section 2.4 Activity in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's activity objective. Derive the formula for the area of a triangle in your math notebook. Today we'll be working on page 81 in your record and practice journal. We'll be doing activity 1 at the top of the page, and you'll also be needing some grid paper or graph paper. If you don't have any handy, you can always go to Google and Google grid paper or graph paper and print some out, or you can just make some with a ruler on a plain sheet of paper. Our first job is to draw any rectangle on a piece of grid paper. Label the length and width, then find the area of your rectangle. Look at the video at the bottom of the page, and we'll do this together. The first step is to draw the rectangle, and I've done that. And in the next step, I will label the length and width. I've chosen a rectangle with a length of 8 units and a width of 5 units. This gives us an area of 40 square units. Your rectangle might be different, so count your squares carefully. The next step is to draw a diagonal from one corner of the rectangle to the opposite corner. It doesn't say to cut out the rectangle, but you do have to. And to cut along the diagonal, compare the area of the rectangle with the area of the two pieces you cut. First you see the diagonal that I've drawn, and this is what it looks like when I've cut it into two pieces. Our next direction is to notice what's going on here, and to use our results to write a formula for the area, A, of a triangle. So let's look at it carefully. The area of one of these triangles has some squares in it. So let's start by counting those squares. So when I number all of the squares that are mostly full squares, I see that there are 20 squares. And I notice that 20 is half of the area that I started with, with my full rectangle, which is 40. And that makes sense to me because I had a full rectangle of 40 square units and I cut it in half so I should end up with 20 square units. So it says use the results to write a formula for the area A of a triangle. Well if the area of a rectangle is length times width then the area of, of a triangle should be half of that. So the problem with that is our triangle is a triangle, and we don't call a triangle's sides length and width. We call them base and height. So the bottom of a triangle is called the base, and the tall part is called the height. And we know that it's half of a rectangle. So we've just come up with the formula for the area of a triangle. Your assignment for this lesson is to tape or glue your cutout triangles to your journal page and bring your journal with the triangles attached to our next class. Please remember to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson. You need to complete your exit slip back at the website. You also need to come to our next class prepared with the journal pages that we did during the flipped lesson or any other work that we did for the flipped lesson completed. You also need to be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed and be ready with any questions you have for your teacher and as always have a good attitude. We'll see you tomorrow in class. Remember to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson. You must complete your exit slip. You must come to our next class prepared with your journal pages or any other work that we did during the flipped lesson completed. And you need to be prepared with any work that was assigned during the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have about the content of the flipped lesson and a good attitude. We'll see you in class tomorrow.